Whew. Whew. Trying to be fancy with a crop top on and oh my, I should have got some water. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hello, I am alive. I'm, I'm, I don't want to lie. I'm not, I'm better. I'm better. Uh, and hopefully just getting better. Um, I was sick and you know, blah, blah, blah. As the story goes, happy new year. I hope your year was, is off to a great start. Um, and the January was just fantastic for you. I hope you did not catch the flu because that was a thing that was going around. I really hope I'm close enough. Let me see if I can bring y'all in some more. Maybe I need to, I don't know. Like it's a little difficult for me to know right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you didn't catch the flu. So I am just feeling like a little, a little down, a little stressed today, et cetera, et cetera. And I had some videos on my list and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I've been trying to think about different ways to do it. And so here we are. Here's what we're doing. I initially was just going to pick a few perfumes and just share some scent memories. Well, then I thought my perfume collection is not that big. Um, so I'm just going to show you my perfume collection. <laughs> that, that feels weird to say. The perfumes that I own. And, um, and I'm just going to share some scent memories with you. Uh, and by, you know, scent memories, just some things like what comes to mind when I smell it? What's the first thing I think of? What, what, even if there are other memories, what is the one that makes it special to me? That makes it sentimental to me? Um, I love that about perfume. I love that you can pick up a perfume and be just instantly taken back to a particular time in your life i love that so i'm going to show you guys some of my i do have a few roller balls on here which i was not going to do that i was going to do that as a separate thing since i own more but i'm going to show these now because they're just the ones that i tend to use a lot with these perfumes as well so first of all we're going to be hella sentimental in this video um this is my perfumes right here they sit in my guest bedroom um, like on a bookshelf or whatever and this um what do you call it this um stand or holder of my best friend actually, oh my goodness <laughs> this is heavy my best friend actually made this for me I keep the tag on there where she wrote like some cute stuff to me but she made this for me she painted it uh I'm gonna try to give y'all a close-up of the inside she like painted it and glitter and sparkles and it's just really pretty and sentimental to me and she just like took her time and it, it just is I'm a sentimental person if you haven't noticed already on my channel like if somebody gives me something like oh uh, I just I try to hang on to it forever I remember uh when I turned 21 21 was another good birthday for me I was talking to somebody about that earlier like 23 and 25 were good birthdays 21 was good too uh well I had the pink eye but the after birthday birthday was good <laughs> um but I remember my little brother and sister at the time had, they were in high school and they had both bought me like a necklace from Rite Aid up the street. And I wore those things until they literally fell off my neck. Then I kept them in my jewelry box for so long after that because I, I couldn't get rid of them. I have since thrown them away, but uh, yeah, one of them was a cross, one of them was a dolphin and they meant the world to me. So I, I hate that they, that they finally fell apart, but I, I definitely wore them with all the love. So anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about scent memories. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the roller balls that I have. So a few of the ones that I have, these are newer to me and actually I need to play with these. Play with these, I'm so used to talking about makeup. I need to wear these more. These are from Bath and Body Works. I don't tend to get a lot of stuff from them anymore, but this is the Chestnut and Argan um, perfume oil and I really like perfume oils they tend to last a lot longer or I like to layer them with another perfume so I like this one um it smells like a little woodsy and a little fresh so I I can't remember what this smells like on my body I remember trying both of these on my body but I have not really worn them the way I should so I can't give you a lot about that right now uh, and this is birch and argon. Ooh, this one smells deep. This is the time of year to wear this. So I will do that. But anyway. <laughs> okay, now I have more things to say. These, okay. Who has seen the, I think they're new. Maybe not as new anymore. But the Good Chemistry line of perfumes in Target. 
they are so good. If you are not convinced, if you find a scent that you like, girl, do it. They are so good. They even have colognes. They are so nice. So these are my two favorites, but they have one and you know I got to get it. It's called Queen Bee. That's one of my nicknames. Bridget B. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta get it. <laughs> um, but this first one, this is actually one I've been wearing, excuse me, a lot this month. This is the Good Chemistry Perfume in Water Lily. This is the epitome of fresh and sweet. But it's like, it's not too much of either of those claims. Mm, 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 mm. It smells, oh, oh my God, got it on my lip. It smells amazing. I have been using this so much. I'm halfway through it. I am going to purchase this in a full size. I absolutely love it. This other one right here is the Good Chemistry Perfume in Jasmine Rose. I have talked about this on my channel. I have since purchased a big bottle of this perfume. I love it so much. Honestly, when I smell this, I think about last summer. Like, last summer was the first time that I taught my own course. Oh my gosh. I remember like having a really emotional meeting with the director and just, you know, just like finding somebody that is doing the type of work that you care about. And I've taught before, but I've always co-taught. But last summer was the first time I like taught a course by myself that I designed from scratch, mostly scratch. Like it, and when I smell this, I think about like, you know, the meeting with the director and then like meeting the rest of the team and then the different trainings and meeting the other teachers and just, I don't know, that, that felt really, really good. So it just makes me smile when I smell this scent. Like there are other memories tied to it, but that's one of the most prominent memories tied to it. And this perfume is, it smells like jasmine and rose. And it smells really good and it lasts a pretty good time on my skin. I love it so much. I'm a huge fan of the good chemistry perfumes. I'm so glad I found them. I love them. And one thing you should know about me, I will purchase perfumes from lots of different places. I don't really care about the price tag. If you smell good, if you last, I will wear you. <laughs> um, so I have a couple more roller balls right here. I have this one right here, which I'm gonna wait to talk about this one until I talk about another perfume so we can tag team those together and you'll see why. This perfume right here is Clinique Happy. I like this perfume. I don't love it as much as I used to love it. Um, but it's a very unique scent. I feel like you either, this I feel like could be a very polarizing perfume. Perfume is already so personal and what it does with one person's body chemistry does not mean it's gonna do that with the next, but ugh, this smells, it still smells really good. But the thing is when I smell this in a bottle, I'm like, I don't know about that. But when I put it on my skin and it mingles in, it just smells like pretty. It just smells pretty, so I like that. Um, this perfume right here, okay, scent memory. This is Gucci Guilty. This is actually one of my January favorites. Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells so good. So sexy. And pomegranate. Mm. So good. <laughs> I'm obviously not a perfume expert, but I do smell like per uh, pomegranate or something. Mmm, so good. So, I feel like, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like for the most part, everybody has that somebody in their family that just always smells good. You know what I mean? Like every time you catch them, you never catch them not smelling good. My auntie Poochie is that person. Like she always smells amazing. Like ever since I was a little kid, I remember as a little kid just thinking she was just fabulous. You know, she had this really cool red car. She wore her hair in a short cut style. She was just always so stylish with her clothes and she just always looked so nice and put together and, and just mm. and she's just naturally really beautiful and I just as a kid I just was like oh you know just like in awe of her and she just always smelled good and I remember asking her finally like over this last year like what are you wearing like and I found out it was an old blend she actually ended up getting me one which is right here so she's gonna give me another one um so I don't even know what to name this there's no name it's just an old blend um but the reason why this, this comes with a lot of memories, but the one that sticks out to me and why I'm, I'm definitely going to purchase, I was already going to purchase in full size, but when I was at home for Christmas, like I went to see my aunts and stuff and we we're like in the kitchen kicking it. Long story short, 
<laughs> she was like, you smell so good. I, I was like, I done done it. <laughs> Scratch it off the bucket list. Did you just, and everybody just bust out laughing. I was just like, did you just compliment my perfume? Like if you compliment my perfume, I have made it. And, and she was like, what is it? I'm like, it's Gucci Guilty. And she's like, I have that. It does not smell like that on me. Like that is your scent. I'm like, really? I, and I just find, honestly, things that have pomegranate in it, really, they do something special with my body chemistry. So I will be purchasing this in a full size. I'm literally almost done with it and I'm sad about it. I have it on today. It just, it, it's sexy. And also, you just... Mm, when you leave a room, you're still in there in a way. Like it just, it just, it's good. Definitely try it out. Um, another perfume that I have, this is the Giorgio Armani. I decided to get the perfume oil over the perfume because when I saw they came out with this perfume oil, I remember it was like um, access for uh, what was it? I wasn't platinum at the time. Whatever the membership was at Ulta. But anyway, I remember purchasing this. And when I smell this, honestly, I just think date night. This is one of those perfumes that I have wore almost every time I've had a date. Especially in the last year. Like, I just think, I don't know. To me, when I smell this perfume, I just feel empowered. Because it's like, you know, I'm a single woman. I moved to a new state. I don't know. I'm just at a particular place in my life. And it's definitely not a place where everybody is in. It's this weird comfortable but transitioning place for a while and when I smell it I just I feel like even when I'm older when I'm married when I have kids whatever I will remember that time being a single woman and I will remember the good and the bad I will remember learning myself and and just uh, just so 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 many things mm, that's a good one all right I need to I need to go faster <laughs> um I have Gucci bamboo oh my god this is one of my babies. This is one of my ride or dies. This is almost always a perfume that I travel with. And when I smell this, I literally think of my best friend. I just think of all our adventures together. And I also think of Jill Scott. I have wore this almost every time I've went to, Jill, to see Jill Scott. I've seen her like four times. And yeah, almost every time. And one time in particular, I think about me and my best friend decided we were going to do like a, we called it vacation. And it was just us. And we went away for like a long weekend. And it was just perfect. Like it just, it was organic and it just flowed. Like we stayed at a great hotel and, you know, we just did what we wanted to do. We took our time. We weren't on any real schedule. Like that is one of the most relaxed, best vacations I've ever had in my life. And I smell all those things when I smell this. Oh, so good. So good. So good. <laughs> um, I don't have anything to say about this one. This is a Rihanna perfume. I can't even remember the name of it. I won't purchase this in a full size. It's okay, but I'm not in love with it to the point where I'm going to purchase it. I got it really, I think I got it um, from Kohl's. It smells okay, but I'm not crazy about it. I don't even remember the name of it actually, but I will try to find it and list it down below. Another perfume I have is Black Opium. I can't think of any memories that I feel comfortable sharing. When I smell this perfume, but what I will say is this perfume is sexy. <laughs> it's like wintertime sexy and I really love it. It just, when I smell this, I honestly just think of like me, all black, heel boots, red lip on. Just, I just, this is another like scent that just, I feel really empowered with this. I feel very empowered. Like I can take on the world if I need to. Love it. Um, another perfume I have, and these two perfumes, where's this other one? I'm going to mention these at the same time. These were two perfumes that I, these perfumes have been repurchased. It's like my fourth, fifth bottle of this. I don't even think they sell it anymore. This one, this is like my second or third bottle of it. They definitely don't sell this one anymore. This is from Bath and Body Works and it's Twilight Woods. And I remember this being like one of the first perfumes, like not the first, but just Back when I really couldn't, you know, afford to really be purchasing some of these other perfumes that I have and I purchased this perfume. I mean, it's still good in its own right. I really like the warm. This perfume is very warm. It's great for the winter time. I actually need to get some use out of it this winter, but I have just, I, I can't put Gucci Guilty down, but I need to get some use out of it this winter because I tend to only wear it in the fall and winter. So I need to go ahead while I have my window of opportunity. This perfume right here was like one of my first perfumes though. And this is 21 Black from Rue 21. 
and this when I smell this I just go I just go racing back to undergrad like I just literally think I can close my eyes and I can just literally travel around East Lansing I went to MSU and I just remember like just my dorms and where I lived and my friends and just so many things about undergrad going to the mall on the weekend like it, it was a good time and yeah so i have been trying to use this up slowly because when it's gone it's gone but this just transports me back to undergrad and just all all parts of undergrad and i i really love that so yes um this perfume right here this is viva la juicy la fleur when i smell this perfume i think of coals <laughs> I think of nothing but Kohl's. I worked at Kohl's for quite a while in my master's program at at one point. Um, and this was also like I worked at Kohl's before I started, like when I was in transition before starting um, in my PhD program. And it just takes me back. It literally takes me back to Kohl's. It takes me back to retail. I, work, I have worked a lot of retail jobs. Um... Coles was probably my best experience, but you know, it takes me back and it's very different when you work retail versus other places. It takes me back to my team. You know, when you work with a team of people that you actually do really like and respect, um, you know, and I am still reminded when I smell this of some of the hard days and some of the hard shifts and, and that weird in between when I was trying to figure out how I was going to get here and set up the life that I now have here. So it's, it, it, it takes me back, but it also just makes me sentimental about the fact that I can remember daydreaming at work, you know, about what it was going to be like to be in my master's program and my fears about moving and stuff. And now I'm here, you know, and it like, it's just like, wow, it takes me back to dreaming about something that I'm, that I'm doing right now. And that, that makes me really emotional, <laughs> but it smells really good. And, um, it's like a fresh, sweet. I would say, and I am a huge fan of Viva La Juicy, of Viva La Juicy perfumes in general. Um, some of them I don't have anymore, like I've used stuff and I just haven't gotten around to repurchasing them again, but they tend to last well on me and last a long time on me. And since we're talking about Viva La Juicy, let me just throw this one out. I will never not have this perfume. This was my first big girl perfume. This is um, Juicy Couture, and I... As you can see, I got a tiny bit back in the bottle and I'm just like holding on to it. This used to be my, um, I have a presentation, I have a job and I have an interview of any kind. Anything that was a big deal in my life, I wore this for so long and it's just special to me because I feel like we grew up together. Like it's weird. Like so much of my memories of transition, of growing as a, as a student, as a scholar, as a woman, it just in all the ways that a person can grow is encompassed in this perfume. I hope they never ever get rid of it. God. Um, yeah. And I need to repurchase it. I only have a little bit left. Oh, it just, oh, girl in pains. It just, it just takes me back. So this is my first perfume I purchased for myself. I purchased this in undergrad. Not this one, but I purchased it in undergrad. And uh, yeah, I just remember, and I re I remember, <laughs> I remember being like really scared when I purchased it. Like I kind of felt guilty. I'm like, you know, how are you purchasing a perfume? And you know, you just always have other things going on. But I was a broke college student, but I bought this for myself. And um, I just remember feeling so grateful. And I, it, it, this perfume is a gratitude trigger as well, just, just to remember. Mm. So, and now that I'm smelling that, I haven't worn it in quite a while because I'm just so close to the bottom and I don't have the money right now to repurchase it. So, when I get the money, I am definitely going to repurchase this probably before any of my other scents. So, yes, love that one. I feel like I'm talking uh, a lot, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, so, another perfume that's a scent memory for me. Uh, it's the Marc Jacobs Decadence. Oh my gosh. I This perfume I didn't purchase for myself. My best friend purchased this for me. And we both have like a perfume, a piece that we say we buy for the other person. And uh, this is mine. And so whenever I run out, she's in charge of, of keeping me filled up. And this is, like I said, Marc Jacobs Dixon's. First of all, it's so beautiful. And she bought this for me on my birthday. And, oh, I'm about to cry. 
<laughs> I'm such a crybaby. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Like, because when I smell this perfume, I think about my master's program and it got really rough, you know? Like, I lost my mom in that program and then my dad a few months later and... Oh, and it's, it's a lot of good things tied to this. One of the things that I think about when I smell is I remember defending my thesis. Like, if you've done graduate work, you know what a big deal that is, what a big step that is. I had worked so hard. I had stumbled and failed so much. I started to think I was never going to get out of there. And that was around the time when, you know, I didn't think I was going to get into a PhD program. I had been applying and not getting in. I didn't know what I was doing next. I, I didn't have, you know, like, just so many things. And I remember just the triumph in the of that day when I defended my thesis and one of my closest friends came to see me and I remember when I looked over at her she was crying watching me present my research and just oh man so yeah ah oh, this takes me back I, I close my eyes I literally see myself standing in front of the room giving my talk on my research just mm. okay yes uh, another perfume that I have is Beyonce Rise. When I finish this, I'm not going to repurchase it. It's okay. I'm really kind of underwhelmed, honestly. <laughs> like, it's okay, but I am a little bit underwhelmed. It doesn't do anything so special on my skin that I feel like I would like to have this again. So I won't have it again, but I'm glad I tried it out. Um, and I like it enough that I'm going to finish it. This next perfume right here is Ed Hardy. This also reminds me of Kohl's. Excuse me, because I purchased this at Kohl's when I was working at Kohl's. And um, this is a perfume. I remember there was a period of like a month when I was going to work. And literally every day somebody stopped me like, what are you wearing? I'm like, wow, it hurting. I haven't worn this in so long. Ooh, this is an oldie but a goodie. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't worn this in a few months. Um, but I love this so much. And one thing about me, I don't tend to like to wear a lot of really sweet scents in the summer. I just... I don't like it I don't know like I just feel icky like I feel like books just are everywhere I don't know and maybe it's in my mind but I tend to wear my sweeter scents and stuff in the winter surprisingly so I I need to wear this but this reminds me of working at Kohl's and um, I remember one uh, lady in particular I had helped her find something for her son who was graduating uh, from high school and we just had a great conversation you know sometimes you meet a customer and they just are like a, a light of that day you know because sometimes I feel like people can really treat retail workers any kind of way sometimes you know and forget that you're also human or take out whatever frustrations they have of their day and she was just so sweet and I remember that being a rough day you know with customers and she was just so sweet and so nice and uh and she told me i smelled good and then we talked about it, it was just yeah and her son was cool too he's he's pretty cool so um i only have a couple perfumes left this is the mark jacobs daisy perfume i've talked about this a lot i did share a scent memory about this in my march favorite so because i want to share a couple other memories i won't share that one again but i will link the video if you're interested just know this is one of my all-time favorite perfumes this is up there with my baby so I am almost out of this perfume like and I need to repurchase this one so I will be doing that I love this perfume so much mm. I love this perfume so much um another perfume I wanted to mention these two are newer to me well one of them I've been using for a while this one is newer to me uh but I get so many compliments on this and I really like the way it mixes with my body chemistry this is um Balenciaga B First of all, this is one of the cute, this is one of the prettiest bottles ever. And I'm normally not somebody with perfume where I'm like, ooh, the bottle, you know, I'm just captivated by the bottle. It's a nice touch. But this bottle, every time, even when I pick it up to get ready to wear it, I take a moment and I'm like, wow. Like, I don't, <laughs> it's just so pretty. This perfume, it's just very fresh. It's fresh and sweet, but sexy. Like, it's pretty. It just... I can't even describe it. It's really nice. <laughs> um, the final perfume. Okay. This is Chloe by Chloe. And the reason why I wanted to wait to mention this is because this is the Flower Beauty Radiant. If you have tried this, if you love this, and as you know, it's gone, uh, which I'm going to finish it up now. Um, this literally smells identical. 
I like it blew my mind when I first smelled this. So I kept buying roller balls of it. it. Smells identical. And when I smell this, I think of my mom. Who I think of the last summer that I spent with my mom. Uh before she passed away. I went home for that the summer for a few weeks, I think. Um but what I think about is I remember my mom telling me how good I smell. I eventually gave her uh, the rollerball that I had. And I remember like my mom was so adamant about taking me on a date day, like a whole day. So all day we spent the whole day together, just us. We went shopping, we had drinks, we went to eat. Like it was just, it was just us all day. Like when I, when I smell this, I can literally see my mom smiling at me. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So even though there are other memories, this is a perfume that I will have for as long as they sell it because it just is very, very special to me. And also it kind of felt like in a way I was like, I told my sister that story and stuff when she told me how much she loved this perfume on me. And for Christmas, um, and for Christmas that just passed, I purchased this perfume for my little sister and it was like her first big girl perfume and I remember what that felt like when I got my first big girl perfume so it, it just I don't know it, it just is weird and sweet and it feels like you know I just interconnected with my family <laughs> I hope this was not too much information um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and those are my perfumes thank you so much for watching i would love to hear if you have any scent memories related to any perfumes that you love or just any perfumes that you know why, why do you love it any anything that you want to share with me i would appreciate it uh and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye